Hey there, section two. I'm going to be commenting a little bit on your study pages as well as the overall layout of your blogs just to talk about the themes a little bit and to see so you can see how somebody looking at these uh, might perceive them. That's my first time doing these video comments so we'll, or screencast comments, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, so I'm just going in alphabetical order, acting for rights, and then live your life, media hash, and then um, What's the Pretty Little Liars blog called? Once Upon a Pretty Little Glee. Okay, I'll just be going in order. Uh, the first thing I notice when I look at this blog is the busyness of the header, which is very pretty, but I also see a very plain looking font. Um, this is not a very readable uh, blog, unfortunately, as opposed to what's going on here where the font is much larger. Um, we have a nice layout on the side. Uh, here, however, um, I do like the, the header and the design is very nice. It's just very hard to read because it, the font face is very small. Uh, as for Jasmine's discussion here, um, I like the beginning. Hello, my name is Jasmine Ford. It, it grounds us exactly who, who we're going to be, who's going to be putting this together. I'm a current senior at Rowan University. Very nice. Uh, interested in the tag hash in the tag Ferguson. There should be a link over here. Um, the discussion is nice. Please make sure that you're punctuation is okay. Um, breaking things up into paragraphs would be great. Moving the images so that they're actually a part of the discussion would be great as well. Um, a little more discussion about why you're interested, Jasmine, I think would be uh, useful too. Also what you were seeing in the tweets ahead of time. Um, otherwise, I think this is a, a fine start. Uh, I like that you have bold printed the contact area. Putting the little at sign in front of the Ford will let people know that it's your Twitter page uh, without saying that it's your Twitter page, which would be fine too. Uh, so a little bit more information in here. Make sure you're looking for at your punctuation and your grammar a little bit. Uh, make sure that, you know, do break things up into paragraphs and try to add uh, these into the actual content of the, of the page. And if you have questions about how to do that, I'm more, I'm more than happy to help. Uh, let me move over to he for she. Uh, when I first see this, I like the, hello, my name is Lauren Roffer. That's, that's great. And I'm studying the he for she hashtag. Should be linked. Um, the, the question that I have immediately is why is everything centered? Um, because the rest of the blog is left, right? Everything is flush to the left. When it is, everything becomes centered, it draws attention to itself. So there needs to be a specific reason for that, or please flush everything to the left. Um, the tone that you have here is, is nice, it's conversational. What the heck does the receiver mean and why am I studying it? Uh, heck might be a little bit much, it's fine for me, but you'll wanna think about that and, and you can compare with what other uh, students are doing in, in the class. Um, I do like this, oh, I'm so glad you asked, it's fun, it's conversational, it sort of uh, shows your enthusiasm for the project. Uh, adding links to this page would be great. So for example, uh, I wonder why the he for she movement is linked to at the bottom rather than the first mention of it, which is usually one that might uh, take place. So you might adjust that a little bit. I do like the images that you've used here. Uh, like I was mentioning with Jasmine, it might be useful to uh, incorporate those fully into the text so that they're sort of wrapped around the image. And I can show you, of course, how to do that. Um, so I think that's really nice. In the study, I'd like to delve into he for she. I think your discussion is great over here. Um, following you at L Films, that's, that's great too. There is very little information in this post about how the study will be conducted for example, which I think was part of the assignment, such as, um, uh, I lost my train of thought there, such as, you know, what you'll be using tags, how you'll be using ground theory, and you can just copy that information directly from the assignment page uh, of, the, of the course website. And I believe uh, that should also be here um, in Jasmine's also, we do need a little discussion of that in yours, okay? So I think your blog group might sit back and have a conversation about the theme, um, whether or not you think it's readable enough. If you decide that it is, that's fine for myself. Maybe just because I'm, I'm an old man and I've got bifocals now and I just am like, what is that, Jay? So, or if, you, if in the uh, contribution, in the uh, customized area, you can make change the font face 
and make a little bitter, that would be that would be fine too. Okay, uh, let's move on over to live your life, which is a nice. Uh, we've chosen a very nice, clean layout for your for your theme. Um, it highlights the posts. It's got a nice header up on top. It's just very clean. There isn't a lot of clutter, and I, as a reader, I really uh, enjoy that quite a bit. Uh, so let's click on the travel study. Uh, I like the way the header is here. Uh, the question becomes, who is a student at Rowan University? You say, I am a student at Rowan University, but my question becomes immediately, who is a student at Rowan University? And I could click on the About page to go see who is doing the travel study, but um, I'm not sure who uh, you are from that, from that page. Um, and I know that it is Emily, but in, we're in the About page, we don't see that you are actually going to be studying the travel hashtag, which is what we really need to see in the About page. And if you're not doing that in um, the Acting for Rights blog too, we really need to see what it is that you are studying uh, in here. And I see that you are you're doing that. Um, I don't see that Lauren is doing that in hers. Uh, and that, from your About page, should link to your study page. So if you state that you're studying Ferguson, uh, link to the study page as well as the actual hashtag. Um, so we really need to see that uh, in here too for each of, of your setups. For the travel study, um, for, a, uh, for a hashtag that is so filled with images, what I am immediately seeing here is that there is no image uh, on this page. So we really would love to have some more uh, images and make this make this just more fun. Make it more travel-y. Make it, you say, I love to experience different travels and, and then build that in here. Um, I get the impression that this is just sort of done um, in response to an assignment and not because there's any sort of enthusiasm for the project. So we really want to get that visual in there. We, we can have some videos, you can have, and all of these um, could do this too. I have videos, not just images, okay? Uh, the Philly study page, here I get a, a, a nice impression that you're a big fan. I see that immediately through this wonderful um, uh, slideshow of images with you there. I can look at that. It really shows me that you're connected to this idea. Uh, maybe you can show the class one day how you actually got this done. Again, we need the who. I'm, I'm wondering though, who is the student at Rowan University? Uh, I like your discussion. I like that you have a nice caption here underneath the Phillies hashtag. Um, it's nice that you can have the Google Drive, a nice discussion there. Um, thank you for linking back to the course website. That's wonderful for a reader so they can see where, where we're coming from. Um, the word, linking the word here is often problematic, and we could talk about this in class, but uh, for those of you who, for those readers who are blind and using screen readers, here is not very descriptive. So often we want to have the you know, if you want to say more information about the project can be found on the assignment page, then you could link the assignment page. That would be something that is more descriptive. But overall, however, I really like the way this is this one is put together. Uh, fit for life. Fit for life is nice. You, you, we get the who who it is and where you're located. That's great. We should have the fit for life hashtag link to on this one. Uh, I would say this one is very similar to the travel study. There's no Fit for Life hashtag is again, it's got lots of images, it's got lots of stuff about equipment, it's lots of people doing lots of very important uh, fitty kind of things, there's videos. Let's get some of that in here. Let's, let's make this page something that is uh, really going to uh, pop and say, oh, this person loves Fit for Life and I love Fit for Life and this is why I'm interested in this, in this person. Uh, wedding planner, I should have put a beverage next to me, I'm starting to uh, need that. Um, Again, with the I, I'm not sure who that is. Uh, my advice for, for this one would be exactly the same as for travel and fit for life. Uh, the wedding planner stuff is so visual, like on Pinterest and other places. Uh, let's, let's get that in here. What does it mean to be, to pl be planning a wedding uh, in this particular uh, environment? So let's try to get that up online and try to, try to do some of that. Uh, you might move your contact information up before the study updates just so they see that first, okay? Um, the discussion is fine. We do need a little bit of 
of the assignment. You know, what, what is the assignment based on? Okay, and how you're going to be analyzing the data. And again, like you can copy that directly from the from the course website. Um, media hash. We only have one study in here, so I'm wondering where the other one is. Um, the, the, the layout is fine. It's got a nice readable font here. Um, it's, it's a clean layout, and that's, that's really great. Uh, the question becomes here, who is the I? Uh, I would have to click on the About page and see. Um, and here we have a, a, a sort of a, a nice listing, basically, for your About page. Please do link to the hashtag, and please link to the study page. Uh, which you can you know, do pretty easily. Um, a nice little discussion about who you are, why you're listening to music. I like all of that. That's great. We do need a, like a, uh, a link to the hashtag. Uh, a few more of the images in here. Again, this is like most of your hashtags. They're very visual. There's lots of multimedia. Let's bring in some of those videos. Let's bring in some of that. Um, I'm not sure what is happening here with this participate and this little save it coupons business, but um, you want to look into that. I'm not really sure what this what this is. There seems to be some sort of keywords that are bringing up this save it coupon stuff, and I'm not sure why that would actually be. Please do link to. Ah, oh, it is a link. It's just hard to actually see unless you hover over. Um, some of the blo some of the themes are like that, and here we have like a hidden link, and I'm not sure if that can be changed so that you can just be clicking on it. But that's something you'll want to be aware of that when you do add a link, it's not going to be apparent to the to the reader. And if that's something that's important to you and you can't change it, then you might want to think about changing your your theme. And again, that's that's really up to you. Okay, let's look at the Once Upon a Pretty Little Glee. I always already mentioned that I really like the layout of this of this blog. I also like that you have this nice contributors list here, which has the uh, username and then their most recent blog post. So uh, these are all links to the proposals, which is really quite nice. Hi, my name is Jessica. You don't have to put your full name. That's per just saying you're Jessica. That's perfectly fine. I'm a student at Rowan University. You know, you, all of you could link to Rowan University if that's something that you think uh, readers would be interested in. If you're not, then that's okay too. You can link to the Pretty Little Wires website. You can link to the ABC Family website, or you can link to the Pretty Little Wires Wikipedia page, or to a fan page, or or whichever page you think most speaks to what that show is. I really enjoy how you are describing what the show is, how you have incorporated images into the uh, into the content, so everything is seamlessly integrated. I like that you have brought up this clip of the A, which is, seems to be a very big theme in the in the show. I don't know anything, but the fans will appreciate that. So I think that's wonderful. Uh, you've got a link to the hashtag. Um, you can do that as many times as you want, obviously, if you want to. I like that you have your uh, Twitter username. If you're interested in what else the project entails, you can find it here. And you can go back and, and learn about and just take my advice about what the here was uh, in, in the other, I think, with Rebecca, Rebecca's blog post. Um, but here, I like the way this is laid out. It's a very nice description. So, uh, you know, well done. You might add a little bit to you know, about the tags 6.0 and link to that website and, and a little bit more about the, the study. But otherwise, fine. I seem to be going uphill this time, up the links. Uh, what's great about this is that we have two uh, two back to back on the same show, and yet there the descriptions are different. The discussion is somewhat different. The I like the fact that you've incorporated this little video video here. Uh, I like how you're incorporating the images. This one might be incorporated a little bit more. Um, you are focusing on the A quite a bit, which is which is fun. Um, what the question becomes, and this is something we'll discuss when we start talking about fans, is whether or not you want to degrade yourself. Like, do you want to put yourself down because you're watching this? And saying that you're a grown adult watching a show, making you 
you know, make you see like you look Teletubbies, make you, infantil, you know, infantizes you. It makes you feel like a child. Uh, yet everyone is doing this. Everyone is watching shows and, and well, most, many people, I won't say everyone, is doing this. So you'll want to think about this as something we really want to do. And if how someone who is a, a really big fan is going to respond to this, um, will this make them feel infantized as well? Um, so that's that's a big that's a big question and, and it's sort of an ethical question and it's also an identity question and it's one that we'll consider. So, you know, what you have written here is sort of entered into this kind of debate that's swirling around about how to present these things. So you can keep it if this is the way you want like it. You can you can change the wording to make it to make it less infantizing. That's not even a word. Uh, but if you want to keep it, like I said, you can. But you know, you should be linking to the websites, linking to Teletubbies if you're if it's if it's in there. I don't see a link to your hashtag at all, so I think that we really need to get that in here uh, as well. And this is great. I love the conversational tone that you have have here. Uh, Once upon a time study. Um, <clears throat> I would go back to the discussions of. Um, from Live Your Life about how to enhance uh, your post Corinne so that it is uh, really making the show uh, visual and, and entertaining and something that a fan is going to really like pop and see. Especially because you explore all the pictures, GIFs, etc. That's ETC uh, that fans will be, that fans on Twitter are posting. So let's get some of that stuff in here so we actually can, can see it. And also a little bit about the study, um, how you're going to be analyzing it, the tag 6.0, and and so on. Uh, for the Glee, also you know links to the show and, and to your hashtag. The Glee. Um, so this is Ashley's site, and <clears throat> it is Ashley has a wonderful blogging voice. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I love the way that you have separated this out with this little introduction and your subheadings. And there's quite a bit of information here, okay, that who are you, what you're doing, sort of setting yourself up as thinking about who is the reader and what they're going to want to know. I love the description. I love all the links to the Wikipedia, the multimedia. It's just a very conversational. It's very fun. It's, it's witty. It's got its own tone. And that's really, it's, it's really who you are on your blog post, from what I remember from intro. So I, I love that you have continued this, this on. And for our section, this is really an exemplar of, of what, could be, what could be done here. I like the, how this section about how the study is being conducted. You've got, you know, contact information. You've got different example tweets that you have seen already. You've got a link to the hashtag. Um, so I think this is really a, a very well done and very very well put together uh, study page that people will learn quite a bit about. So for all of you, I think this is all a great start to the study. Please spend uh, some time this weekend uh, updating the page. If there's further updates that really that need to be done, please take care of that. If you have questions for me about whether I think something is working better, uh, please let me know, and I will get back right away. Otherwise, great start, and I am excited to see what you all do with, uh, with your studies. Talk to you later.